So there is this little white powder that has been helping athletes perform and has been studied by scientists for several decades. No, it is not something sinister. It's not even caffeine. In fact, it's baking soda. Baking soda, maybe at one time being your grandma's do-all, fix-all, actually might have some significant evidence to back it up in the performance realm. Looking at multiple reputable articles and randomized controlled trials, you can see that it seems baking soda actually has a positive effect on athletic performance. But you guys know here on this channel, we like to find out for ourselves. Rather than just looking at the studies, I decided to put this to the test at one of my most detested events, the 400 meter sprint. In this video, I will be running an all out 400, waiting an entire week, not changing anything in my nutrition or training, and then running the 400 again, but this time consuming baking soda based on the amounts recommended in the sum of these studies. Will my 400 time increase? Let's watch the video and find out. Ugh. So my approach is literally just go 100% all out. There is no pacing, no technique. It's just go as fast as you can and try to hold on to it as long as you can. That's literally my plan for this first 400 and for the next 400 we do after consuming the baking soda. So it was literally at the 200 mark where I started to really feel the buildup of that lactic acid in my legs. And then at about that last 100 meters is where I started to just kind of like feel the world turning into a tunnel essentially. I had that tunnel vision. And I just was literally running as fast as I can right here through the finish line. But uh, like it's, it's funny, it's just like your body won't allow you to go any faster. About 69 seconds, not my best 400 ever. The best 400 I actually ever ran was 64 seconds because the 400 meter sprint is one of those events where you tend to build up a ton of lactic acid. And that brings me to my first point. How does baking soda help increase exercise performance? Well, according to many of these studies and articles, it helps you buffer that lactic acid. Now, literally one week later, trying to keep everything consistent, not changing up my diet, not changing up my training. There was no speed training during this period of time. The only thing that is different between this Wednesday and this next Wednesday is literally on the second Wednesday, I consumed about 17 grams what? of baking soda one hour before the run. So that's approximately 1,700 milligrams of baking soda that I'm going to consume right now in this water. I'm gonna set a timer after I consume this to make sure I wait at least 60 minutes. And hopefully by then we'll be at the track ready to go. And then we're gonna run the 400 again and see if my time has improved. <laughs> Ugh. It tastes so salty. I guess it is sodium bicarbonate. So it's gonna be probably 100% of my daily value of sodium when I'm done consuming this. Great. Mmm. Ugh. Oh, it's just like salty. So between 60 and 90 minutes is hopefully when I'm gonna be running my 400. And we'll see if we get a better time. All right, let's see if this works. Oh man, here we go, I'm nervous. All right, nothing to him, I'm gonna send it. All right, so right off the bat here, we got a nice start, about exactly the same as last time. The first 100 meters seemed pretty much the same, however, going from about 100 to 200 meters, it seemed like I was really holding on to my speed a lot better than the first uh, 200 meters. Now, at about 200 meters, I did start to feel the lactic acid build up, but it was not as intense as it was the week prior. So feeling optimistic, trying to keep pushing at about 250 meters in, that's when I felt the lactic acid really kick in like it did the week prior at about 150 to 200 meters. So just anecdotally, it seemed like I got about an extra 50 to 100 meters before I felt that punch in the legs. Now you can really see at about the last 100 meters, just like the week prior, I was really starting to slow down. This is where the tunnel vision started to set in. And literally, even though I wanted to go faster, my body just wouldn't allow me to go faster. This is where it gets cool. Coming through the finish line, approximately 65 seconds. One second off my all-time PR. Four seconds faster than a week prior. Nothing different between these two weeks, except for on the second week, I consumed 17 grams of baking soda one hour prior to running this 400 meters. So did the baking soda help me, did it not? In my opinion, I think it actually helped a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But will I consume 17 grams of baking soda now every time before I work out? No, I'm not gonna do that. 
Consuming 17 grams of baking soda actually amounted to a ton of salt. In fact, there were many times in this experiment after consuming the baking soda where I mentioned I felt like I just consumed a brick of salt. All right, so I literally feel like I just, um, like I just ate a cube of salt because essentially that's what I did. So before you go out there and just consume baking soda on a daily basis in order to get better exercise performance, there's some things you should consider. Consuming too much baking soda can increase your blood pressure. Make your body retain water so that would be increasing your weight which might decrease your exercise performance. Cause you to dehydrate. Cause abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting. Now in severe large doses of baking soda consumption, you could even disturb your heart rhythm and cause muscle spasms. But I mean, come on people, common sense. What do you expect would happen if you went out and chugged a box of salt? So it's like, just use your brain, you know what I mean? Think for yourself, use your brain. It's salty, all right? Baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, it's salty. And not only that, but baking soda is alkaline and that's what helps contribute to this increase in exercise performance. But if you bring your body too far out of homeostasis for too long and make it too alkaline, you could hit a severe problem called alkalosis. So yeah, I might have improved my 400 meter time about four seconds, but if I just take a little bit more time and train for this more intense speed, train my body to buffer this lactic acid a little bit better, then I think I can make up for that improvement in time, maybe even beat 60 seconds by the end of this year on the 400. Maybe that'll be another challenge. I said it. Now, if I was ever to take baking soda again to help get an edge, maybe it would be in an athletic competition, you know, you just want to get a little extra edge. In that case, if it's a one-time deal, why not? I would just use the protocol that was summarized in all of these experiments. It seemed to work. That is taking approximately 200 milligrams to 300 milligrams per kilogram of body weight an hour or two before the event. But like I said, I don't think it's totally necessary. Ooh, fun thing. Next time you guys are you know, at the supplement store or something like that, check out some pre-workouts and read the ingredients. You might see baking soda on those ingredients list. I remember in the old NO Explode, there was sodium bicarbonate in there. I'm like, what the heck, why is that in there? You know, back in the day, because of this, because it's actually a performance enhancer to some extent, like we found out in this experiment and according to all these articles. But with that being said, like I said, you know, there are side effects obviously of taking too much. Like there would be side effects of taking too much of anything, of course. Don't be an idiot, be smart, think for yourself. Like I said, I'd rather not take baking soda on a daily basis to improve my exercise performance because it's literally like taking a brick of salt. So I'd rather actually just improve my body's ability to buffer that pH through training and just good nutrition over time. You know, a slower and steady approach. With that being said, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining. Stay tuned, more videos coming out. It's gonna get epic. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on. If you're interested, check out my Patreon page. You can help support the content in this channel. We have fun things coming for you guys. Thank you all so much. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.